What a matchup we have to lead off NFL Week 4 as the Minnesota Vikings and Los Angeles Rams meet up on Thursday Night Football. It's a game that features one of the NFL's best defenses against one of the league's best offenses. Something's got to give, right? Let's break it down. We'll start with the Vikings in this game, and the biggest offensive X factor to me is center Pat Elfling. His return to the lineup will be huge this week as they're facing one of the more potent defensive interiors in the NFL in Indomitian and Sue and Aaron Donald. Guard center guard play has to be strong if you want to have success against the Rams. And if what we saw the last two weeks is of any indication, the former Ohio State star services will be welcomed back with open arms. Defensively, I look at the linebacking core having to have big days. The Rams offense puts a lot of strain on your underneath coverage and your ability to defend the outside run. The Vikings have two of the league's best in Anthony Barr and Eric Kendricks. They have to be cognizant of Ty Gurley on both ends of offense and be spatially aware of what's going on around them in the passing game if they want to get the Rams off the field. If you play fantasy football, check out my fantasy football content on The Athletic by visiting the website theathletic.com and following them on Twitter at TheAthleticFF. Moving over to the Rams in this ball game, offensively, the biggest X factor will be their two wide receivers, Cooper Cup and Robert Woods. These are the guys that I like to call chain movers as they are the ones that are more than likely the targets on third down and also in other critical situations. Both guys have a knack for finding soft spots in the zone and are savvy enough as route runners to get open versus man coverage. I just spoke about how the Rams offense puts a ton of strain on your underneath coverage. It's because of these two guys and they need to have big days against the aggressive attacking style defense of Minnesota. On defenses, I think it's an obvious choice, but you have to look at the corners of Los Angeles and see where the Vikings will try to attack. Both the Rams starting corners, Aqib Tlaib and Marcus Peters will be out this game. So that means Sam Shields, Troy Hill, and Nikhil Roby Coleman will be pressed into starting roles and having to match up against the excellent receivers of Minnesota. I think it's going to be interesting to see how they utilize these guys in addition to a player like LaMarcus Joyner who can match up versus some receivers as well. So needless to say, these guys will see a ton of action this week in the passing game and they have to be up to the challenge. If you want to put a couple shekels on a few games, both college and pro, be sure to check out Football Game Plan's Best Bets podcast located on iTunes and also on SoundCloud. Football Game Plan analysts Chris James, Gene Clements, and myself give you our best picks that week or the upcoming week to help you take home the loot on game day. I like the Rams in this game. Third-year quarterback Jared Goff is playing some of his best ball and really has this offense clicking on all cylinders. They are so well balanced and they can beat you in a multitude of ways, but I believe it'll be their defense that'll be able to rattle the cage of Kirk Cousins and the Minnesota Vikings offense en route to a victory.